welcome to our channel my name is esther and this is qs fashion up thank you for stopping by please if you're new here hit the subscribe button and join the family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to watch our videos guys today i'm going to be teaching you how to draft your pattern for a bucket art and how to um, sew a reversible bucket art and if this is what you want to learn then keep watching now the first thing you're going to do is that you have to note that bucket art are divided into three parts okay you have the crown which is the upper part of the the, the bucket hat you have the the middle part and also you have the brim which is that part that is spreading out okay so now we're going to start cutting by creating a pattern first and then we move to the the, the sewing of this hat and the first thing you're going to do is to measure the uh, measure around your head you have to know the measurement you're going to be using for your art for me i'm going to be using 23 inches which is around my head you have to measure around your head and then you have to put your hand if you don't bob your hair if you're making your hair you have to measure it a little bit loosely so that it will fit properly on your head let's say for instance your head is your head circumference is um 22 now you measure it like this and make sure that your two fingers should be able to enter into it like this with this it should be able to fit you properly okay now make sure it is not too tight when you are taking your measurement okay you sh your fingers should be able to enter your two or one finger should be able to enter after you have taken your measurement now let's move to the drafting of this pattern i'm working with the head measurement of 23 inches i'm going to be folding my fabric my pattern paper sorry into two like this and then i will fold again into four i'm going to start with the the crown which is the upper part of the bucket art now I fold my fabric into four sorry why do i keep saying fabric my pattern paper i beg your pardon let's assume you're going to be assuming you're cutting a full circle you're cutting a full circle okay so the way you fold your fabric whenever you want to cut a peplum that's the same way you're going to be folding your fabric your pattern paper sorry <laughs> now i'm done folding now what i did was to divide you're going to be dividing whatever your head measurement is by 6.5 28 the standard measurement you use to divide circle whenever you want to make a circle skirt a peplum or anything circle okay now you're going to be dividing it by 6.28 mine is 23 and i divided it by 6.28 and i had 3.7 approximately okay so i'm going to be take from this point this opening here i'm going to be taking 3.7 all around create my crown so this is it i'm going to be marking you know this is um 3.75 so I'm, I'm going to be placing it here and i'm going to be marking it all the way around while you go you you move your tip rule and you make sure that it is on this point the starting line okay and then you keep moving it all the way around like you're cutting a peplum the same way you're cutting a, a flare, the same way you're going to be doing it here. And this is me just marking it all the way around. And once you're done marking, make sure you put enough points here that will help you connect your, your line easily. Okay, so this is it. And then you're going to start connecting your points together. Like this. And this is it now I'm going to grab my scissors and just cut it out so with this you have cut out the upper part of the the bucket art which is the crown and when you open it up you're going to have something like this okay now just make sure you you use your marker to to um, mark this part all this four edges that you have so that you'll be able to know those four edges it will help you when you're cutting your fabric okay now remember what i said you divide your 
um head measurement by 6.28 move to the cutting of the middle part we've already cut the crown which is the upper part and now the middle part is is what we are going to be cutting now now the, the first thing you're going to do is to fold your fabric into two i'm going to be cutting it on fold like this if you like you can cut it one like this and then when you're cutting it out on your fabric you can make it you you cannot fold your fabric into two before placing your pattern on it but for me i'm going to be cutting exactly the way i'm going to be cutting it on the fabric okay i folded my fabric into two a pattern paper into two sorry <laughs> i can't say fabric so after folding it into two now the same measurement you took earlier you're going to be dividing it by two this time around not six points to it okay now mine is 23 23 divided by 2 is 11.5 okay now this is it after folding it into two can you see this part is on fold now you're going to take 11.5 what you're going to add half an inch to this part because you're going to be joining this part okay so that is 12 inches all together if your head is and the measurement around your head is 24 so you have to you have to divide your 24 by 2 which is 12 and then you add half an inch to it okay for me it's going to be um 11.5 if i divide mine into two and then i add half an inch to it which is 12 so this is the 12 here okay can you see can you see stops here and then the wideness of that middle part is going to be 3.5 inches 3.5 inches but you're going to add half an inch to this up and half an inch to this part because you're going to be joining it to the brim and also you're going to be joining it to the crown you know this is the middle part we are cutting now if you add half an inch here and half an inch here plus 3.5 inch or we are going to be having 4.5 all together so i'm just going to go ahead and mark 4.5 inches i place my tape roll like this and then i'll mark 4.5 so this part okay all the way to this part now i'm just marking 4.5 let's go ahead and connect the points together from this end to this end okay so i'm just connecting my points like so to this part and then once i was done connecting i'm just going to cut it out like this Let's cut the brim part of the um, bucket at. Now, to cut the brim, you're going to divide the measurements you're using, which is your head measurement, by 3.14. Assuming you're cutting a half circle, um, half circle flare, the same measurement, the same standard measurements you're using to cut half circle, that's what you're going to be using to cut it. If you don't understand what I mean by half circle, I mean when you're cutting a 180 degree flare, okay? That's what you're going to be doing to the brim, okay? I'm going to leave my pattern paper like this. I'm not going to be folding it. By the time I'm cutting it on my, on my fabric, I'm going to be cutting it on fold, okay? Now, from this point, you're going to be marking... By the time I divided my own which is um, 23 divided by 3.14. What I got was 7.3. Okay, so I'm going to be marking 7.3 all the way from this part. Can you see? So I'll place it this way, and then I'm going to be marking 7.3 like this. And then I'm just going to keep moving my tape round like this. Now the reason I'm marking, I'm marking presently I'm marking seven point two five. Okay, that is because by the time I'm done marking my lines, I'm going to be cutting behind my line, not before the line. So that is going to add a little bit of allowance to it. So it's just going to match to what I need for this um brim um this brim. Okay, so this is me just marking it all the way around. And once I was done marking, I'm just going to go ahead and connect this point. 
and now once i'm done connecting it i'm going to be marking this part you're going to be determining how wide you want your brim to be for me i'm going to um be using three inches okay and then you know that you're going to be joining your brim to your middle part of the bucket art so you're going to be adding you're going to be adding half an inch to the um whatever measurement you're going to be using here some sometimes you can decide to use 2.5 inches or three inches depending on how wide you want it to be for me i'm going to be using three inches because i don't also want it too small because you know that when you are done joining it to the middle part you're also going to be toning the lining which is the inner part with it on top so by the time you turn it it's still going to reduce the measurement okay so i'm going to be using 3.5 inch including my seam allowance so from here i'm going to be marking 3.5 inch here all the way round So once I was done, I'm just going to connect my points all together like this. So I already cut it out. So I'm going to be laboring this as the three, the, the third one. This is the first one, which is the crown. This is the middle part, which is the second one. And this is the third one, which is the brim. Okay. Brim. And this is the crown, and this is the middle. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead. This is a, the fabric I'm going to be using for this bucket art. This fabric has two colors, so that's the advantage of it. It has two colors this is the red, and this is like a brown. Okay, so this is going to be a reversible one. I'm just going to go ahead and use all of this pattern to cut it out here on the fabric. Note that when you're cutting this thing, you're, this one, which is the number three, which is the brim, you're going to be cutting it on fold. It means that you're going to fold your fabric this way and then place it like this. Can you see? And then you cut it out. So I'm going to be needing two of these, which is a crown. I will need two of this middle. And then I will need two of these, which is the lining and the main um the main fabric so i'll go ahead and cut all of this out and then come back to show you the next step i had to cut out my my patterns on my fabric can you see this is the the middle part the brim and this is the crown and this is the other part this fabric has two colors okay so now this is going to be the lining and this is going to be the main fabric okay now the first thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and notch the four parts of this can you see i will notch this part and then i'm also going to notch this part whatever i'm doing here i'm going to repeat the same thing to the lining and then i'm going to fold it into two like this two equal part like this i'm also going to notch this part like this so i have my four parts like this now i'm going to go ahead and join this i'm going to first of all join this part like this flip it like this right side facing each other i'll join it by half an inch and then when i'm done joining also for the um the brim i'm going to join this part by half an inch like this i'll fold it this way right side facing it or uh, each other i'll join half an inch and i'm going to iron open the seam and I'm going to do the same thing to this one, which is the lining. I will notch here, notch here, just like I did for the first one. And I'm joining this part. But this time around, this is going to be our own right side of this one. So I will join it this way. For this part, I will fold it this way. And also join it. And then I will come back to show you the next step. I'm joining and I've opened the same, can you see? And also to the brim okay now the, the next thing i'm going to do is to fold it this way into two equal parts and i'm just going to notch this part this will help me to know where to pin 
while I'm working and I also notch this part. Okay. Now, the next thing is whatever I'm doing to this part, I'm going to repeat the same thing to the line. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to grab this um, crown and then I'm going to pin like this right side facing each other. I'm going to align my notches together and I'm just going to pin this part. And then I will be turning it to the wrong side. So then I'll pick this part and also I'll pin it. Then I will just pick this part also, this notch here, and align it. And I'm just going to go ahead and join it all together around. And then when I'm done, I will also join this part. Can you see? This is the right side. This is the right side. I'm also going to be notching this part. Fold it into two equal parts like this. And I'm going to notch here. And also, I'm going to be notching this part also. And then I'm going to go ahead and align the seam line to the seam of this one. Like this. And I'm going to pin it. Make sure you iron your seam open. And then I'm going to drain it all the way to the upper part. Then I'll, to the middle part, sorry. So I'll do all of this. i repeat the same thing to the line and then I'll come back to show you the next step. So friends, we have gone ahead to drain the crown to the middle part. Can you see it? So this is the brim, okay? I told you that whatever I'm doing to this main fabric, I'm going to be doing the same to the lining. And for the lining, I've gone ahead to drain the brim also to the main, um, to the the middle and the the crown okay can you see that the same line are are in place they are aligning okay now but i want to explain something here before i continue so i don't want my bucket art to just be plain like that i want to create a design here on it so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be using all this um ring can you see them to create some design on on it okay so that's what i'm going to do basically and what i'm going to do now is that I'll fold it like this. Save. So now I'm going to. I cut out 2.75. The length is 2.75. Can you see? And the wideness is. The width is 2 inches. Can you see? And then what I did was to fold in half. Fold in another half. And then fold it together. And then I stitch down. And also top stitch on the other side. That's how I got this part. Okay. This one that is on my. This one that is with me now. So the next thing I'm going to do is to grab my hook and my ring like this. And then I'm going to pass this into it like this. Can you see what I'm doing? But if you don't have this, you can skip this part. It's just I don't want it to be plain like that. I just want to create some little design on it. Remember we have notched this part. Okay, see, we have no remember we have notched this part. So this is the midpoint and this is the back. Okay, now what I'm going to do is to... Place it like this, and then I'm going to secure it with my pins. So, guys, this is this thing is um, guys, this thing is looking bulky, but I just have a way to secure it with my pin. And then I'm going to do this fold half, fold half, and also stitch it together, and also top stitch here. I'm going to put one here at the back, like this like this here and i'm going to do another one here and the other one here before attaching it to my to my middle point like this so i'm going to pin it like this i'm going to pin it right side facing right side like this and i'm just going to go ahead and attach it like this all the way around then i'll come back to show you the next step and this is the outcome after I was done draining, draining it, okay, can you see? 
can you see how beautiful this bucket hat is looking already so now this is the inner which is the line can you see i also went ahead to iron and open on my seam allowance inside i did the same thing to the main one now the next we are going to do is so this is the right side and then this is the right side also of this one we are going to now um, join them together by flipping right side facing right side this way together and then we are going to align the seam allowance at the back together like this we are going to pin it all the way around like this can you see what i'm doing i'm just pinning it at this point like this so i'm just going to pin it all the way around and then take it to my sewing machine i'm going to stitch stitch it all the way around and leave like um two inches opening where i'm going to be turning it inside out from i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to explain i'm going to be stitching all the way around and i'm going to leave two inches here opening so this is where i'm going to be turning it inside out from so let me go and stitch and come back to show you the next step so i've gone ahead to stitch it all the way so can you see the opening here so i'm just going to be turning it inside out from this part so you have to take your time at this point to turn it because the fabric is thick um you you have to take your time to turn it so i want to um you have to note that if you're working with an akara fabric go ahead and use a stay use an interfacing inside so that it gives you stability i didn't use interfacing because this fabric is thick if you are using a jean material um you might not need a stay but if you're using an akara fabric any fabric that is light you will need to use a stay okay so to turn it off camera and also iron it and i'll come back to show you the next step head out i'm gonna have to turn it inside out and i also iron it properly okay so for the opening what i did was to use my aiming gun so i just this is it can you see this part i just cut a little piece of aiming gun and then i open it up and inserted it inside then i iron it and that was how i closed the that was how i closed the, the seam that is opening here so the final thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to be stitching if you don't know what is called emmy gum this is it this is emmy gum okay it just gives you a clean finish it can you see without stitching you have already closed the seam now what i'm going to do now is just to stitch here i'm going to be running some stitches here just to create a design here run and also to allow it stay in place okay so that it doesn't come out the inside does not come out okay so i'm just going to run like three to four stitches here around i'll be giving um maybe quarter of an inch or half an inch in tower before i do the next one okay so when i'm when i'm done doing that i'm just going to run one here this one will help this part to just stay in place so that the inner part does not come out okay so i'm just going to do all of this then i'll come back to show you the final look of this beautiful bucket art so friends this is the final look of the bucket art can you see how it's looking see those stitches i talked about i had to put my brand thread in the bobbin while i put the red one on top of the machine okay so I just went ahead to run those stitches around. So I'm just going to wait on my hair so you can see it. Can you see how it's looking? It's a reversible one. You can actually wear it in different ways, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and style it while I... I'm going to turn it over and wear it the other way around. Can you see? It's so so beautiful and easy to make it's something you can actually do on your own so guys if this tutorial has been helpful to you please please give us a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and drop a comment and share this video my name is esther and this is qs fashion up don't stop learning keep learning see you in the next tutorial
Bye. I love you guys. Bye. Yeah.